All right, breaking news. Breaking news, breaking news. Alex, you should do the da 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 The best thing, the best thing that you can do for your employer is to buy a new car, is to get in debt, to buy a new house. All those things are things that employers love to see that their employees doing. And it's not for the reasons you think. So today in this video, we're going to talk about how your employer wants you in debt. Because the truth of the matter is, the more debt you're in, the more dependent on them you are. So with all that being said, Alex, I'm going to let you start it off and then we can jump on into it. Yeah, I do agree with this. And someone who is actively investing every day, it's a awkward position to be in when your boss puts so much emphasis on the job as if it's like it requires life dedication and you as an investor or someone with a bigger vision does not see the big point of just a day job other than to grab the paycheck and go invest it and it's definitely something that you have to be professional about you know one thing Kirby you had told me is you don't want to go around saying oh I got all the money in the world I don't need this place but it's uh it's something that you guys or the viewers watching need to keep in mind if you are actively investing and in making money don't get too wrapped up into oh make this a career just focus on your own goals and it's and it's a thing so i remember i was in i was in texas happened to be again in texas and i'm riding around with the owner of a company and then we and then we pull into the employee parking lot and then he says, man, you see this right here? And then, uh, and then I'm looking around and I see damn near every spot full with a brand new car. And I said, and I told him, I said, the only thing I see is a lot of debt. He said, exactly. The more debt that they get into, the least likely they are to leave this job because they're dependent. They can't go, you know, months without a job. So they have to be in and be more flexible to us to get the job done because they need to because they are beholden to the debt holders for these cars these houses and the things that they buy and when he said that i just sit there and thought about it i was like this is the this is the point of it all they pay they pay you enough to get in enough debt to make you dependent on them and then you know you have people that sit there and say oh i hate my job my boss, my supervisor, they a-holes and all that. But the thing is, they can't leave because they have a bigger boss than the one that they work for. And that's Bank of America. That's the credit unions. That's the mortgage lenders. That's all of them. And you're setting yourself up. And it's another thing he said. He said, the employees that I'm worried about is employees that have used cars, no car payment, and they're they're not in debt. They're not coming to the office talking about stuff that they're buying. They're worried about them because they know that they don't, they have the opportunity. They have, they have the, they have more flexibility to get up and leave. So that's a big worry that he has. And so then I start thinking about it. And then I remember going around to the office when I, you know, got into, uh, started working for corporate America again. And People would go around and, you know, talk about the new house, the new car. You know, everybody want to park the new car right in the front parking spot so everybody can see them when they get out the car. And, you know, everybody's running up to you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Everybody's loving the praise that they're getting. And they just getting into more debt, buying bigger houses. They get a promotion, buy bigger houses. And then what made, what I started doing is when I saw people doing that, I started looking at the upper management. And then they would have fate looks on their face like, that's crazy. But they're happy because, oh, now they're in debt. Oh, no, we know we have them locked in for a longer time. You know, we know we can actually probably screw them over because it's the likelihood of them leaving are way less. So, you know, now if a job promotion comes up and we skip over this person, we're not worried about if they're leaving. We're more worried about, we're more worried about old Kirby over here sitting here not buying nothing not getting excited about other people buying houses getting into debt and he's not in debt and stuff like that because he has the opportunity to leave if he don't you know 
if he if we don't capitulate to what he's doing you know if it's two good workers and then they're going to and then they know what's the likelihood of one of them leaving if they don't get this new position uh, they probably if they both equal they probably gonna give it to the person that will have the chance to leave because they don't want to lose two good workers but the person that's in debt they are more highly likely to stay because they have bills and obligations to uphold yeah that's a really good point yeah companies employers are definitely not stupid they do look at those things but that's something i hear all the time including the bosses you know you hear it I, at least i hear it from guys above me you know all the debt that they're in because they take their they they the more that they make they're always upgrading their life they're getting a brand new car they're building another house they're buying gifts for their 40 grandkids or whatever it may be and you know the employer wants that because then the people above them can hold them those guys to more responsible or accountable tasks you know they can put them in those positions because they know you need this job you need that salary and they have no way of getting out i've seen it all the way up until the vice president you know they have they have their lifestyle so inflated that they they can't leave and the owners and you know the presidents above them they they know that and that's where they want to keep them and the the worst thing that anybody can do and this is for the viewers just looking at that or listening or looking at this video the worst thing that you could do is let life creep happen you always see it somebody get a promotion they got to get a new car they get a higher promotion they got to get a new house they gotta they gotta have the amenities or the materialistic things to represent their position they got to show the world that hey i'm in this position but the only thing that it does is make you and dave ramsey said a slave to the system it keeps you in the rat race and i know one guy and he's in corporate america and he's been promoted umpteenth times and He's still in the same house that he's in. Living, he don't have the worries. He don't come to work with, with uh, oh, oh man, these interest payments are getting higher and I, I'm worried. He's worried about making as much money as he can, keeping his expenses low, so he has the gap and the flexibility to move about and make moves as he needs fit for his family. You know, how many times have you, you know, sit there and heard that, oh, I got to work to pay the bills. I got to work to pay the bills. There's opportunities. It can be other opportunities out there that they can take to get a higher pay, but they can't go that, you know, two weeks to a month without a paycheck or they're going to be so far behind that the other job wouldn't matter. So they have to stay stuck in the same position they're in because they keep allowing debt and keep allowing life creep to happen to make it happen. And this is something that, you know, you see it in, you know, married couples, you know, husband get a raise, wife think they need a new car, wife get a raise, husband think he need to have a Corvette, to, you know, show that they live the lifestyle. You see it all the time and it's just a cycle, a cycle, a cycle. It's just making sure you're gonna stay employed to your 65 and then when your retirement age comes you still ain't gonna have enough money set aside for retirement so you're gonna be working 70s and 80s and then next thing you know you're gonna die at the job because you chose to work because you wanted stuff that you probably don't even have no more years and years down the line the sacrifices you make now and it's not really a sacrifice the smart decisions you make now will determine where you're at in your future and if you don't like the lifestyle you live and what you're doing don't blame your boss don't blame the job blame yourself for letting life creep rise up and keep taking the money out of your pocket just so you can oppress others or feel like you reached a certain status in life when you really still broke as you was when you was an entry-level employee with all that being said, guys, if you have any comments on this topic, let us know down below. Share this video, subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one.